The Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya translation, King Shivaji Museum, abbreviated CSMVS and formerly named the Prince of Wales Museum of Western India, is the main museum in Mumbai, Maharashtra. It was founded in the early years of the 20th century by prominent citizens of Mumbai, with the help of the government, to commemorate the visit of Edward VIII, who was Prince of Wales at the time. It is located in the heart of South Mumbai near the Gateway of India. The museum was renamed in the 1990s or early 2000s after Shivaji, the founder of Maratha Empire. The building is built in the Indo-Saracenic style of architecture, incorporating elements of other styles of architecture like the Mughal, Maratha and Jain. The museum building is surrounded by a garden of palm trees and formal flower beds. The museum houses approximately 50,000 exhibits of ancient Indian history as well as objects from foreign lands, categorized primarily into three sections, art, archaeology and natural history. The museum houses Indus Valley civilization artifacts, and other relics from ancient India from the time of the Guptas, Mauryas, Shalukas and Rashtrakuta. History In 1904, some leading citizens of Bombay decided to provide a museum to commemorate the visit of the Prince of Wales, the future King George V. On 14 August 1905, the committee passed a resolution saying, the museum building embodies the pomp and height at which the British Raj was moving ahead with their ambitious plans, in building the great metropolis Bombay. In keeping pace with the best style of local architecture, many buildings were built, among which, Bombay High Court Building, and later, Gateway of India buildings were the most notable ones." The foundation stone was laid by the Prince of Wales on of November 1905 and the museum was formally named, "...Prince of Wales Museum of Western India." On 1 March 1907, the government of the Bombay Presidency granted the Museum Committee a piece of land called the Crescent Site, where the museum now stands. Following an open design competition, in 1909 the architect George Whittet was commissioned to design the museum building. Whittet had already worked on the design of the General Post Office and in 1911 would design one of Mumbai's most famous landmarks, the Gateway of India. The museum was funded by the Royal Visit 1905 Memorial Funds. Additionally, the government and the municipality granted 300,000 rupees and 250,000 rupees respectively. Sir Karimboy Ibrahim first baronet donated another 300,000 rupees and Sir Kowashi Jehangir gave 50,000 rupees. The museum was established under Bombay Act No. 3 of 1909. The museum is now maintained by annual grants from the government and the Bombay Municipal Corporation. The latter pays for these grants from the interest accruing on the funds at the disposal of the trust of the museum. The museum building was completed in 1915, but was used as a children's welfare centre and a military hospital during the First World War, before being handed over to the committee in 1920. The Prince of Wales Museum was inaugurated on 10 January 1922 by Lady Lloyd, the wife of George Lloyd, Governor of Bombay. The museum building is a Grade I heritage building of the city and was awarded first prize Urban Heritage Award by the Bombay Chapter of the Indian Heritage Society for Heritage Building Maintenance in 1990. In 1998, the museum was renamed Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya after the warrior king and founder of the Maratha Empire, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The museum was renamed after the renaming of the city in 1995, when the colonial name, Bombay, was replaced by the native, Mumbai. Architecture <laughs> 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 The museum building is situated in three acres 12,000 square meters area, having a built-up area of 12,142.23 meters sq. It is surrounded by a garden of palm trees and formal flower beds. The museum building, built of locally quarried grey curla basalt and buff-colored trachyte malad stone. It is a three-storied rectangular structure, capped by a dome set upon a base, which adds an additional story in the center of the building. Built in the Western Indian and Indo-Saracenic style of architecture, the building accommodates a central entrance porch, above which rises a dome, tilled and modified well, tiled in white and blue flecks, supported on a lotus, petal base. 
A cluster of pinnacles, topped with miniature domes surround the central dome. The building incorporates features like Islamic dome with a finial along with protruding balconies and inlaid floors, inspired by Mughal palace architecture. The architect, George Whittet, modeled the dome on that of Golconda Fort and the inner vaulting arches on those at the Gol Gumbaz in Bijapur. The interior of the museum combines the columns, railings and balcony of an 18th-century wada a Maratha mansion with Jain-style interior columns, which form the main body of the central pavilion below the Maratha balcony. In its recent modernization program 2008, the museum created 30,000 square feet 2,800 square meters space for installation of five new galleries, a conservation studio, a visiting exhibition gallery and a seminar room, in the east wing of the museum. The museum also houses a library. Topic: Collections. The museum collection comprises approximately 50,000 artifacts. The collection of the museum is categorized primarily into 3 sections: art, archaeology, and natural history. The museum also houses a forestry section, which has specimens of timbers grown in the Bombay Presidency British India, and one exhibiting a small local geological collection of rocks, minerals and fossils. The Maritime Heritage Gallery, which displays objects relating to navigation, is the first of its kind in India. In 2008, the museum installed two new galleries, displaying the Carl and Murbai Kandalavala collection and the Coins of India. Art section The art section displays the collections of Sir Purushottam Mavji, acquired in 1915, and the art collections of Sir Ratan Tata and Sir Dorab Tata, donated in 1921 and 1933 respectively. The museum's miniature collection encompasses representations of the main schools of Indian painting namely, Mughal, Rajasthani, Pahari and Dakani. It features palm leaf manuscripts dating to the 11th-12th centuries to the early 19th century Pahari paintings, as well as paintings from the Sultanate period. Notable manuscripts housed in the museum include the Anwar Saheli painted in Mughal Emperor Akbar's studio and a 17th century manuscript of the Hindu epic Ramayana from Mewar. The ivory section has artifacts dating as early as the Gupta era. The museum also has decorative artifacts such as textiles, ivories, Mughal jades, silver, gold and artistic metalware. It also has a collection of European paintings, Chinese and Japanese porcelain, ivory and jade artifacts. The museum also has sections dedicated to arms and armor and another to Nepali and Tibetan art. The Arms and Armor section contains a finely decorated armor of Akbar dating to 1581 CE, consisting of a steel breastplate and a shield, the former inscribed with religious verses. <laughs> Archaeological section Sculptures and coins transferred from the Pune Museum in Pune and the collections of the Bombay branch of the Royal Asiatic Society resulted in the development of an archaeological section, with precious sculptures and epigrams. The Indus Valley Culture Gallery houses fishing hooks, weapons, ornaments and weights and measures from the Indus Valley Civilization BCE. Artifacts from the excavation of the Buddhist stupa of Murpurkas, were housed in the museum in 1919. The sculpture collection holds Gupta 280 to 550 CE terracotta figures from Murpurkas in Sindh of the early 5th century, artifacts dating to the Shalukyan era 6th -12th -h century, Badami Shalukas and Western Shalukas, and sculptures of the Rashtrakuta period CE from Elephanta, near Mumbai. Natural history section The Bombay Natural History Society aided the Museum Trust in creating the Natural History section. The museum's Natural History section makes use of habitat group cases and dioramas, along with diagrams and charts, to illustrate Indian wildlife, including flamingos, great hornbills, Indian bison, and tigers. <laughs> New galleries 
An exhibition entitled Pravaha highlighting early phase of Sir J. J. School of Art and the Progressive Art Movement was launched on 24 July 2017. The exhibition covered a range of paintings from the 1880s to 1950s through works of Pestanji Bamanji, Rustam Sayodhya, Salvalaram Haldankar, Antonio Trindade, S. N. Gorakshakar, Govind Mahadev Selegankar, G. H. Nagalkar, J. M. Ahavasi, Raghunath Dondopant Dopeshwarkar, Raghuvir Govind Chamulkar, Rasikal Parikh and Y. K. Shukla, Abalo Rahiman, Keshav Bhavanrao Chudekar, Lakshman Narayan Taskar, Syed Haider Raza, and Krishnaji Halaji Aara. A Prince Gallery was launched with an exhibition entitled Bombay to Mumbai, Door of the East with its face to the West on 29 January 2015. The gallery was inaugurated by Neil McGregor, director of the British Museum in London, who also gave an illustrated lecture on «World Cultures» at the central foyer of the museum. As part of the renovation project initiated in October 2008, the Krishna Gallery holding artworks related to the Hindu god Krishna, a Hindu deity of the preserver god Vishnu, was opened in March 2009. A textile gallery, the first gallery in the city, was opened in April 2010. It illustrates, "...various techniques of textile manufacturing, regional collections and traditional Indian costumes." Matrika Design Collaborative is currently designing the museum's Indian miniature painting gallery. The content developed for the gallery will be converted into braille text and tactile labels for the blind with help from designers, fabricators and consultants from the Helen Keller Institute. Galleries CSMVS Museum has various galleries. They are related to art, history, natural history and Indian culture. They are as follows Sculpture Gallery Pre- and Proto-History Gallery Natural History Section Indian Miniature Painting Gallery Krishna Gallery Himalayan Art Gallery Decorative Metalware Gallery House of Lakshmi Coin Gallery Karl and Mirbai Kandalavala Gallery Chinese and Japanese Art Gallery Sir Ratan Tata and Sir Dorab Tata Gallery of European Paintings Arms and Armour Gallery Jehanger Nicholson Gallery Premchand Roychand Gallery Key Gallery First Floor Circle Gallery Second Floor Circle Gallery European Decorative Art Gallery Bombay School Gallery Jahangir Sabawala Gallery Textile Gallery Prince Gallery Curators Gallery and Conservation Center Topic. Sculpture Gallery The archaeological collections were originally started by pioneering archaeologists Sir Henry Cousins and Sir John Marshall. Amongst the important sculptures are the Gupta period terracottas and bricks from Murpurkas excavated by Kusins, a large number of Buddhist images from Gandhara and ceiling panels from a dilapidated temple at Ihole. The early examples are from Pani and Pitalkora. Mumbai itself has a rich tradition exemplified by a Shiva and a Matrika from Bijanath temple at Siri near Peril belonging to the same phase as Elephanta. Other noteworthy images from Maharashtra are a Vishnu and a Ganesha of the 11th century CE. Some well-known sculptures are Brahma, from Elephanta Caves Mahishashuramardini, Dram Elephanta Shiva, from Peril Sculptures from Ihole and Patadakal Devarapala, from Shamalji, Gujarat Garuda, from Konark Yaksha, from Pitalkora Buddha and devotee from Mirpur Khas Ashthamahesha replica bust <laughs> Picture gallery <laughs>